Uh, good evening. Welcome back to the 360 Digital MG channel and uh, very happy to introduce you guys uh, with uh, Mr. Sandeep, who was uh, one of our students uh, at 360 Digital MG and he has successfully got placed in Motivity Labs. His designation is Data Engineer and uh, thank you Sandeep for uh, coming online for, with us and uh, sharing your story uh, with everyone here. And uh, this is definitely a motivating factor for a lot of other students who are aspiring to become data scientists and data engineers. So thank you so much, Sandeep, first of all, and uh, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, sir, for giving me opportunity to, to share my uh, tips to the others to, who are interested in to come into the data science field. Yes, your, your story is definitely a motivating and inspiring story, Sandeep. So let me uh, begin with uh, small questions, uh, right, which probably will help others. So may, may I know what is your education background to start with so that right, people who come from IT, non-IT backgrounds and all those, they, they also right, try and understand how easy or how difficult it is to get into data science. Yeah, for a non-IT, who may be an IT or a non-IT, who are interested in particularly analyzing the data, they're coming to the data science field, they should know the just a basic knowledge in the Python and the SQL, so that they can improve their coding skills when in, uh, enter into the data science field and how to analyze the data, first of all. So it be the data science, the career in the terms of data science is very lot in the IT industry where I'm seeing directly. So how my organization is also acquiring the lots of people in the field of data science. So recently my organization also acquired 25, uh, 25 peoples in terms of the data science curriculum. Wow, that's, so that's data really science is the background. Great, great to hear that. So that the organizations are actively hiring people, right? So that's yeah. that's what Sandeep is basically conveying here. That's good news for a lot of people who want to right, get into data science. Now, can you tell me what kind of uh, interviews, I mean, how many rounds of interviews uh, happened to you and what kind of questions they asked you in these interviews? Yeah, okay, sure. Um, My interviews happen in the uh, terms of three rounds. One is in the technical, uh, written test based on the Python and the SQL. And afterwards, there is an, a small group discussion uh, to check whether the guys can communicate with each other or not. Afterwards, we went for the third round is technical round, where the technical round was happened for me in terms of oh, data science concepts, asking the, taking the real time scenarios where the data science is going to er, uh, evaluate around. Uh, like uh, taking the uh, for an example, I will go with an example. Right, uh, there is an, a data set called the uh, number of cup of tea uh, coffee is having uh, taken and number of hours they slept. So here the based on the number of cup of coffee taken, so that it will be depends on the number of hours the person can sleep. So this type of questions are asked, and what type of algorithm uh, you may use to identify the accuracy? Mm -hmm. So I have given my answer is in a simple regression model. Mm -hmm. So this, uh, this type of questions they may ask. Okay, so from, from your answer, uh, if I have to summarize to our audience, uh, you're basically saying that Python SQL are going to be very pivotal in cracking the interviews. So practicing Python programming skills and SQL programming is very important. Oh, and yes. along, along with that, the reasoning skills and logical skills are important. Yeah, oh, yes. Very good. Yeah, thank you so much on that uh, right answer. And um, see, we are looking at a lot of um, projects nowadays, uh, which are being implemented uh, by various companies, but we are, we are talking about, um, let's say, the organizations looking for seniors for implementing these projects in the organization. So what is your opinion? Do we need freshers or do we need seniors? So what is your role in the organizations? Did you join as a fresher or a senior person in the organization? Uh, 
uh in, in my organization i joined as in a fresher as a data engineer in terms of building the data pipelines so uh, recently i have worked with an, a senior in terms of uh, building an a poc so it's still in the progress i'm taking the advantages or maybe i can say as a inputs from my senior how can a uh, build uh, the pipelines Great, great. So you're basically saying that um, you joined as a junior level resource in the organizations and working with senior people to basically build these pipelines, which eventually are going to help the data scientist community. Yeah, yes, yes. You also mentioned, Sandeep, that there are close to 25 people who got hired in your organizations. So what kind of uh, profiles are these? Are these, again, freshers or senior profiles? So these are the uh, these 25 people are the freshers and there are the out of 20, uh, 25 are totally freshers and we have the recently acquired the senior people who are under the like a gcp and the data science background along with okay. data science there are the expire uh, expertise in the gcp okay okay so you're also talking about uh, senior profiles being actively being hired and your organization is specifically looking at GCP based uh, experience, so Google yes. Cloud Platform related experience. So, you, you guys are working on machine learning on cloud aspects. Yes, yes. Great, great, great. So, there you go, friends. That's the uh, story and that's the knowledge that Sandeep has uh, shared with us. So, from Sandeep's perspective, Sandeep is saying that we need to have Python, SQL knowledge logical thinking, reasoning skills. And for senior roles, we also need a little bit of cloud information, cloud knowledge, so that the machine learning can be implemented over cloud platforms. And Sandeep is also speaking about the data pipelines, because these pipelines eventually allow data to flow into the machine so that your training can begin. Right. So these are all the various facts that are or concepts that you people have to Learn. Yeah, I should. Uh, can I tell some uh, tips related to how to prepare Please. for an interview? Absolutely. Please, Sandeep. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, guys. Who are preparing for an interview in, in a fresher level or in a senior level? Go and thorough with the key concepts of the data science related, like uh, the probability, statistics, or the whatever. The, uh, supervised algorithms, unsupervised algorithms, uh, where the your people who are interviewing you, there will be a senior most in terms of this. So you have to be very thorough with the concepts and also the practically, where you, whenever a senior most person come and uh, ask you, this is my data, how can you analyze by seeing data without using any programming language? You, how can you expect what will be the accuracy so please go through the root map which is provided by our 360 amg it is the best root map i have seen in my total this two years and the video lectures given by our barney kumar sir and the sharat kumar sir in the terms of the big data data science and most i uh, am requesting all the the officials to learn visualization in terms uh, like uh, whatever it may be in a power pair or tableau you need to know one visualization uh, tool great 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 yeah. uh, that, that 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 inspires us to uh, provide better service to our students uh, kind words will will motivate us and uh, yeah there you go friends practice 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 that is all is required for you people to crack the interviews okay. Right. And take up the project very seriously. And uh, right, because uh, Sandeep, if, if I have to ask you one last question, yeah, okay. um, how important is the project that, that you are uh, part of uh, as part of 360 Digit MG uh, journey? You're given an opportunity to work on projects. Right? So how important is that project? Uh, by taking the live projects, I improve how to understand a business requirement in perspective of a client rather than in perspective of an a, a coding part. Uh, how the business, a client is thinking to be a business uh, to be improved. 
so in this point in this aspects i anal i learned how to understand a client in the terms of the business requirement great great that and is one, uh, that is most help uh, help me in cracking the interviews uh, i explain all my three projects related to the data science and also the tableau that is uh, help help me a lot in the tracking my interview great 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 so that was my next follow up question actually so what kind of questions were asked in the interview uh, were they very generic or were they specific to the project that you have worked on oh they are asking me the related to the project which i explained them so what type of uh, algorithms you have used and how can you say that it is a fit for the project right so, so what do you more specific to the uh, project that you have worked on right so yeah. project centric interview questions yeah very good very good great great um if you want to add anything more sandeep uh, to our audience please yeah. go ahead uh, that's all sir i can say that to practice more and go through the videos which is provided by the 360 regularly and if you have any doubts you can there are so many interns who can answer the questions uh, daily live right yeah we do have support uh, right so a lot yeah. of people are trying to help the students get placed it's it's all about practice fetch right so there you go one more success story and uh, we are very happy for you sandeep um, your success means our success and uh, right keep excelling your uh, in your career and uh, right keep motivating uh, others and i want to take a special thanks to the bani kumar sir and you in terms of uh, bani kumar sir has given me the uh, ai concepts how to learn and the related to data engineer concepts i have gone through your uh, uh, webinars before attending the interviews and uh, i have learned how what type of role the data engineer is playing nowadays in the real time market yes 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 those videos will definitely help and our our um always constant strive is to ensure that these latest of the technologies are there um given to our students so that they can crack the interviews right so very happy that it, these videos are helping a lot of students to crack their interviews right so our objective is met your, your success means our success right so that's something that i um keep telling so thank you so much sandeep and thank, um, you, thank you for your time thanks for joining us live and uh, right so keep motivating others okay thank you sir thank you thank you so much sir thank you friends thank you all for joining the session and uh, right as you said keep practicing right so sandeep's words and my words are keep practicing